What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to the Let's Play Professor Layton in the Curious Village Blind. In the last episode, we continued our ascent up the tower. Um, I believe this summary will not be anything too particularly interesting, but yeah, we had quite a few puzzles, and as you can see, we are already on tower, or tower, I almost said tower flower six. Sorry guys, I'm really tired. Um, but I'm trying to play, and I want to play as much of this as I can right now because I am so close to the end, and I just want to know what happens. And these puzzles of the past few episodes have been really, really fun uh, to go through. So I'm looking forward to everything that the future floors hold in store. And it seems like there are still quite a few floors left. So let's see here. At first glance, um, you know, I'm not really seeing too much more. I hope that... And I really hope that if I do end up missing, uh, like, two or three puzzles, um, they'll, they'll give them to me at the end. They'll be accessible by some means. But, nevertheless, here we are. Do you suppose we're near the top yet? Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle in the way before we get there. Yeah, I mean, I think we're pretty close as well, given we only have two more, uh, puzzles to solve, or two more mysteries to solve, and one of them being the golden apple itself. Anyways, 70 pick rights. Your task is to draw lines between the pins on this board to form seven squares. The seven squares do not have to be uniform in size, but you can only use each pin once. Alrighty then, give it a shot. Oh, and they're even gonna let me use colors finally. That's actually really cool. Alright, so... We need to form seven squares. We can only use each pin once. Um, just looking at the arrangements... Where can I and where can I not draw squares, right? So at first glance, I'm just trying to make as big of a square as I can within the, the limits they're providing. And again, we can only make, we can only use each pin once. Notably, we're gonna have to overlap some of these, right? So for example, this will be, oh, I can't do that. Can I undo? I can, luckily. Um, so I can't really do that. I could, however, do this. Huh? Did I already use it? I didn't think so. Where did I use that pin? I thought I made... I did this, and then... I was going to make a pin that goes through here to here, and through here to here. Huh. Okay, so there's something weird going on there. I don't really know why, but it's giving me a hard time when I try to go through like that. So I guess we'll hold off on that for now. Either way, we've made three squares already, which I guess is in and of itself progress. Although I fear it's going to give us the same troubles when we try to, um... can I change colors? Maybe if I change to like the red color, that'll help. Yeah, that's so weird. I guess I don't really know what in the rules is keeping that from happening, but I guess that's okay. Um, I guess we'll live, right? <laughs> they don't have to be uniform. Um, okay, so I think part of it is that I was, I think it was part of, partially how I was going about the clicking. So let's see here. If I go like this, that's not going to work. But for some reason this would. Would it work if I went like that? No, it won't. It won't let me do that. So strange. And it won't let me do that either. Why can I not draw a, a square? I guess that technically counts as using the pin twice. Weird. But at the same time, 
this doesn't? Right? That's so strange to me. But I guess we'll just have to work within the game's limits. The game's boundaries. Um... And again, we can't do that either because that counts as using that twice. So we could make another square there. Where else could we make another square? We could make another square here. So, so far we're at five, right? Then I could, no, I can't do that. That won't count. I could do that. Although they're gonna be weird about that. Aren't they? Because I'm at five squares now. I guess that counts, hopefully. I mean, if you ask me, I've used, I guess, this pin here. And that should count, right? Um, at the moment, I'm still at one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So I really only need one more. But I don't think I'll be able to draw that one more. Not unless I get really creative, maybe? I haven't done any diagonal squares, which I'm surprised by. Maybe that's part of the key, is doing something like this. Let me actually change the color real quick, just to be clear. I think that's going to count. So theoretically, there should be seven squares here, right? Um, there are three very evident tiny squares. There's the big red one, there are the two big uh, black ones, and then there's like the medium-sized one that's the overlap of the two big black squares. So that should be seven. That should be seven. Let's um let's try it. I'm afraid that I think I this it. may not be considered correct because of how I tag the pins or whatnot. Oh, I was sure I had it. But there are definitively seven squares that I drew there. So, um, I'm not 100% sure on what they want me to do to, to make that clearer. Um, so again, we've got a nice 4x4 four four square here. Okay. And then we'll make, I don't know, this one blue. So we've done that, and then we've created a square in the center there. I'm afraid though that because I don't have the pins marked, um, they won't actually count it as a square. I think that might be the case. But then for some reason they're they won't let me they won't let me do that. So I'm not 100% sure I'm really understanding how they have the whole pin mechanism working. Yeah, that seems really seems really odd to me. Let's try and make some smaller squares.
and see if that maybe helps illuminate some other ideas because I was fairly confident I had drawn seven squares using the pins, but... But I guess not. <laughs> um, I still like the idea of this diagonal square. I think that's going to be pretty insightful. Where else can we draw a square? Um, a small square can be drawn here. And we can't draw very many more small squares. We could do something like this if we wanted. But otherwise, not, not really much um, without utilizing those bigger squares. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like the, the difficulty here is coming from understanding how the pins are being registered. Because I definitely drew seven squares that first time. This would make a rather uh, frustrating finale of a puzzle. I guess we can try to draw some other other pins or other squares. We can draw like this one here. And then um, our usual. Oh no, we can't. Or no, we can. No, we can't. This is a side length of three, side length of three, side length of three, side length of three. So they're cool with that, right? So I don't know why there's so much difficulty with some of the others. Because now I could do something like this, where it's like that, that, but as soon as I do that, it already considers that one used, because it's like already part of another square. But it's not even pinned, per se. Okay, all right, so I've got to rethink this. <laughs> Let's see how many uh, puzzles we're able to actually get through this episode, because this one is already looking to prove rather difficult. I just hope it's difficult for the right reasons. I think we're gonna want to use a lot of diagonals so that we don't have the problem where the side lengths of the squares or the sides of the squares are going through unused pins. I think that's what I'm going to try to do right now is see if there are ways that I can draw squares such that sides aren't going through very many pins because I think that's part of the problem. Um, So, what else could I do? Um, trying to utilize all of these, you know, to the best degree I can. But, I'm not seeing a lot that's going to allow me to really escape using those pins that are already on sides of squares. Because I can already see other squares <laughs> that I can make using the pins um, that are not currently used but are lying on the sides of other squares. Hmm. It's a bit frustrating. Because otherwise, I'm not really getting past the, the four <laughs> uh, limit per se. But I mean, like, right off the bat, I could I could try to draw something like that, right? But then it's going to say as soon as I go through here that I can't do it. Wait, why was it okay with that? Why was it okay with that? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how these pins rules are working. I think it's that none of the sides can overlap. There can't be any, I guess, like, 
Yeah, there can't be any side overlap. All right, um, let's try to make it work. Let's try to make it work using utilizing those rules. So the biggest um, square I can make first is this one. And I want to make this square as well. Although that won't let me, they won't let me do that. Um, How did I have this done before? Was it... Yeah, how did I arrange that? Was it like this? No, that wasn't it. I feel like it was this. And then I could try to, I don't know make a square within that square, and that would be okay because none of them are overlapping. And then we can make another square within this one, doing that. Okay, so I think that's the rule they want me to, to get at, <laughs> is that I can't overlap sides. So now let's see, is there a square I can make that encompasses this particular square? And I don't think I'm gonna find one, unfortunately. In fact, I don't think I'm going to find many more squares, period. But this is an interesting strategy. So let's see what we can do here now. If I were to make this a square, could I make any diamonds, I guess, within it? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, unfortunately. They won't let me do that, no. Hmm. Let's try one of these up here. I can't do a three by three there, nor can I do a four by four. Can I do a five by five? I can. Let's make a five by five. No, I can't do that either, because I've got nothing to connect to over here. So I can't make a square using that corner. So instead, we'll use this to make a four by four. From within the four by four, well, I guess, oh, interesting. So I can only make that nice, convenient square within a square if I have an odd number of points for my Side lengths, I guess. A number of pins on each side. Because now I can really only do something like this. And unfortunately, that's, uh, that's not going to work out too well. And we sadly don't have a pin where I'd like one, so we could overlap that. But notice how as soon as I do this... Wait, that worked? But the side overlapped! Why? <laughs> Why? What are the rules? What are the rules to making these... squares? <laughs> Why do some of them work and some of them don't? So that worked. Is this going to work? It is. Is this going to work? No, it's not. Okay. Why am I having such a tough time understanding these rules? Um... Hmm. And it seems like each of the squares needs to have four pins around it. That seems to be a uh, requisite, because I didn't have that for one of the, for the previous design I had already made. Let's see if I can redo that. Where I think I had, no, not that. Um, it was a 4x4 four four here, like this. And then a 4x4 four four like this. 
okay. And then what I wanted to do, can I like highlight this pin? <laughs> to do something like that? No, I can't. Interesting. Because you can see how I've made a third square, right? But I think it won't count because it doesn't have a pin on all four corners, unfortunately. Could I make more squares in here, though, using those same pins? I think I can. Is that 90 degrees? Is this a square? It looks like it might not be. Actually, no, it is. It definitely is. Can I do something similar with the other square? Um, no, I can't. Unfortunately. But we've made three squares, I guess. <laughs> um, for whatever that's worth. And I guess we could make a fourth square like this. But again, now we, uh, we definitely can't progress from here. So, so that's a no-go. Um, although, look! We now, remember that square that I had created through the overlap of the black lines? It now has four pins on all corners. Does that mean it's going to count as a square now? If so, we've just made five squares. How odd. What happens if I were to draw like a line like this? Would it count if I did that? No, it wouldn't. Okay, weird. Very weird. But let's see if we can create a similar arrangement elsewhere. Where we have some sort of overlap that works in our in, to our advantage. Um, we can't quite have a 3x3 three three here, but we could have a 4x4? Four four? No. They're not going to give us to that, or give that to us. Start with a 4x4. Four four. We can make a square within here by doing something like this. And then, how else could we make a square? We could make this square. And we're at three. Which is still not gonna be enough. And if I do that, they're not gonna let me do that. Nope. Nope, nope. Hmm. And they probably won't let me do this either. Or will they? Will they really let me do that? They did! One, two, three, four. So now we have four squares. It's the same shape <laughs> overlapping uh, twice. But that's interesting. It's interesting that they let me do that. Just from a rules standpoint. So that's four. Um, I guess we could make a fifth one by doing this. So that would be a, a fifth square. And now we definitely don't have the ability to make any more. Just looking at the pins we have available. But again, it's really interesting to just kind of figure out what exactly we can do. Would they let me do this? If I took this and went like that? No, they won't. Okay, so we'll clear this. Hmm. I'm still kind of hung up on this setup here. I feel like this should be such good setup. But it's not. <laughs> but it's not for some reason. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is there a way for me to incorporate this? There is. I should have used different colors. But, I mean, if you look at it like this, we've already created five squares. And we still have so many pins unused. That's what really stands out to me about this. But I don't think we have enough of them. To do anything meaningful. I guess the, the rule of thumb is going to be that anytime I click on a pin, it cannot already be green. <laughs> it cannot already be like lit up as if it's green. Also, wow, this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, thank you guys for your patience. Let's see if we can make a big 4x4. Four four. No, we can't do that. Can we make a big 3x3? Three three? No, we can't. How about... In a different direction. Hmm. What if I were to do something like that? I don't have a row high enough to do that, unfortunately. So what is the best way to go about this? I keep underutilizing the top left corner. So let's try and, well, let's try and utilize it. I can't even make a square though with that top one. So that top left pin really cannot be used for anything. <laughs> so I shouldn't even concern myself with it right now. Let's start by making a 4x4 up here. This is one where I am able to make, oh, I should actually be able to make two squares utilizing this exact same method, right? Oh, I should have seen that before. Except they're not going to let me do that. Or they are. So weird. Um, but okay, so that's three squares already. Which is pretty nuts. Now, we can make this square. Like that. And uh, we're not going to be able to make a square within that, unfortunately. No, we're not. Because the, the the points, the pins are already being used. We can make one more um, on the very bottom, but I don't think that'll be enough to save us. We could... We could make one like this. That would count as one. But now we can't make that smaller one anyway, so it's not like it's particularly meaningful. Darn. Um Let me let me count how many pins there are actually. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, so we're at eleven, and then five, so we're at sixteen, and then five, so we're at twenty-one, and then four, so we're at twenty-five, and then three, so we're at twenty-eight. So every pin needs to be used. 28, right? We're at 28. We have 28 pins and we need to make seven squares. And if each pin needs to be the corner of a square, then every single pin needs to be used. Okay, so that's actually really helpful. Also, wow, it's almost been like half an hour on this one puzzle. Um, I, I mean, I guess those of you that have 
not been interested in hearing this thought process and just want to see what the final solution is or see what my final thoughts are that lead to the solution are. Um, I'm sure you're skipping around and have been, so I'm not, I guess I'm not too ashamed. Um, so this pin here, right? We cannot create a one by one, obviously. We can't create a three by three. We cannot create a four by four. We cannot create a five by five. We cannot create a six by six, but it must be used. So we must make a two by two, or I guess, yeah, um, a two pin length, I guess, square like that. And that's how those four are used. Now, how can we use everything else? Let's look at this pin here. Can we make we can do that, right? We could fancy some uh, some diagonal squares with this part with that particular um, side. But what else could we do? We couldn't make a three by three like that, and we can't make a four by four. We obviously can't make a five by five. So we're pretty much stuck to a diagonal or a similar similar square where it's just this and this. But then we can't use this because that's way too long in that direction. That's way too, um, and this is the only way we can go. Um, but these have already been used. So this cannot be the solution there. So this pin here must be involved in a diagonal and it has to be a diagonal of length too. So, wow, I'm actually surprised that we're seeing this much logic, I guess, that we can use to deduce all of this. This must be the square involving that pin and those other pins, obviously. So now we ask ourselves, what about this pin here in the top row? This can be involved in, it cannot be involved in a three pin by three pin or a four pin, etc unless it's on a diagonal, and or it could be this, right? It could be just this very basic square like that, which is possible. Um, I don't think it's gonna be the case, <laughs> uh, just seeing how these work, but it could be the case. If it were a diagonal, it could be a two by two. Could it be a three by three? It could. So this one could be a lot of different things. It could be a two by two diagonal. It could be a three by three diagonal. It could be a two by two, um, I guess like cardinal. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hold off on this for now actually. And we're gonna see how this guy gets used. This could be a two by two regular, or could it be a diagonal? It can't be a two by two diagonal because this pin is already being used. It can't be a 3x3, three three, and then it can't be a 4x4. Four four. So it actually must be involved in that square. Um, and we'll color this differently as well. So that also tells us what that other pin must be. Okay, let's go to the second row. So when we look at this pin, what must this be? It has to be a diagonal, right? Um, it cannot be a square going here because, well, we don't have the, the pin down here to make a 4x4. Four so it must be a diagonal, and it can only be a diagonal of length two, because it, we don't have access to three on that side. So we then know that these pins must be used in this manner. And then we get screwed over because this pin over here has no use. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, Yeah, darn. <laughs> so where did my logic go wrong, is the question. Because there's very little we can do with what we have remaining. We can't do something like that. And I don't think we can actually use any of the remaining pins. to make any more squares, which is nuts. Because I feel like I did that in a way that, that was very logical. So what am I missing? Maybe at this point, after that, 
what I thought would be a brilliant uh, path through the puzzle. Maybe now I'll, I'll jump cut around to any new inspiring thoughts I have. Maybe I'll try a similar approach from the other end of the map. So this guy here cannot be a 2x2. Two two. Can it be a 3x3? Three three? It can be. Um, can it be a 4x4? Four four? It can be. Okay, it cannot be a 5x5. Five five. So this is either 3... Well, these guys in the corner can't be part of a diagonal. Um, but this is either part of a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four big square. How about this guy? This could be part of two by two. This could be by a two by two, I guess like regular. It could be part of the three by three regular. It could be part of a two by two diagonal. It could be part of a three by three. I didn't want to do that. Um, it cannot be part of a three by three diagonal or a four. So it's either two by two diagonal, two by two regular, or three by three regular. How about this guy? It could be a two by two regular, two by two diagonal, <laughs> um, and that's it. So 2x2 two two regular, 2x2 two two diagonal. Um, how about this guy? Cannot be a 3x3, three three, cannot be a 2x2, two two, unless it's diagonal. Can it be part of a 4x4? Four four? It can. We already know that. So it's either a 4x4 four four, or... Although, again, I still... This top left one, right? It can only be a part of a square like this. We've determined it can't be part of anything else. It can only be part of a, a square that's, you know, like right side up, I guess. And it can't be three by three, and it can't be four by four, and it can't be five by five, and uh, and it can't be six by six. So I feel like that has to be that. And if we have that in mind, we know that this then has to be this can't be the four by four, or the three by three, um, or a two by two. So it must be one of the diagonals, and it can only be this two by two diagonal. So I feel like that has to be that. And now we look at our options here. This can't be any of the upright options. It actually must be a diagonal. And the only diagonal it can be is the two by two. So actually, I'll make this red. Like so. However, now we've screwed over this pin down here. <laughs> so I don't know, something, I, something about my logic must be wrong. Or something about my understanding of how these pins are used must be wrong. Because is when this pin is here, right? I can't do that. But there are 28 pins. And so if each pin needs to be the corner of a square, then... Then... Then I'm screwed. Um, based on what it looks like. Does that actually need to be the case? Do I actually need... I wish it would tell me how many squares I had. Like it would count and, and let me know that, oh, if I were to do something like this, would it tell me, oh, you have three squares? Or would it say I only have two? I really want to know that. Because I could otherwise use my pins for, I guess, other things, right? I feel like the placements of the dots on the, the sides of these squares is more conducive to forming those inner squares than it, were, it was on the lower half of the puzzle. So now if I were to do something like this, I can do that there. And then, I don't know, I could make one like this. I feel like I've already done this, admittedly. Because, yeah, now it's not going to say, like, oh, I can't do this and then bring this down here, because it's already been used. And I can't really see a way to use these pins otherwise. Hmm. 
feel like I've got to be close. I mean, could just make another square down here, and I think I'm at six. Although, no, my bad. They won't let me do that. They won't let me do that for some reason. Um, although, it was totally fine in the past. They were totally fine with me doing that. And now it's okay. <laughs> and now it's okay. This would be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know why people need to stop text messaging me. Um... I feel like I'm gonna go insane because I don't understand what these pin rules mean. Because it feels like sometimes I shouldn't be able to use a pin more than once. Um, but then it feels like sometimes it lets me. <laughs> like, look at that. Like, look at that. Look at how I had to, like, manipulate things so that I could create this square the way I wanted to. Okay. So, through some very careful manipulation of how drawing threads, I guess, <laughs> um, between pins works in this system, I've definitely drawn at least seven squares. <laughs> um... Just in the top row alone, you can see there's one that's half red and half blue. Then to the left of that is another 2x2 two two that's blue. Then to the left of that is another 2x2 two two that's blue. Then there's a big three red-sided, or I guess, let's count the small blue squares first. There are five small 2x2 two two blues, you can see, right off the bat. Then in the top right, there's a red, half red, half blue two by two and then there's a bigger um three-sided red and then one-sided blue square so we're at seven already but then in the lower left corner you can see there's a one red side but three blue side square as well so that's eight I mean, if you really want to get, like, finicky, too, you could say, oh, because I've drawn eight squares, I've also technically drawn seven, and that would be a solution. But but you can see there's some, like, there are a couple lines that don't look like they match up effectively, and it's because I have to be really weird about how I draw the lines over pins in order to to get those green dots to light up. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to count this, but I mean, you guys can see I have I have seven squares drawn using the lines. There are no X's there. Um, I feel like this isn't going to work because I, think I, I just it. don't know what they want me to do with the pins. Yeah. I've let you down, Professor. So, I'm going to probably look at a hint because I've sat here and looked at this so many times. Um... And just thought about it, and I feel like I've come up with valid solutions. <laughs> like that one other puzzle, the uh, the one with the tiles. I feel like I've come up with valid solutions that fit the rules they give, right? I've only used each pin once, and I created multiple squares drawing these lines. I drew even eight. So, I don't know. I don't know what they want me to do. Um, I feel like I just don't understand the rules, which is really unfortunate. Most of the squares you make will be tilted 45 degrees to the side, and their sizes will vary as well. Start by looking for pins you can connect to create squares at a diagonal. I mean, I know that already. <laughs> Here's the location of one of the squares. Connect the four pins in the top left corner to form a tiny square. 
Um, I mean, we knew that already. We were able to deduce that. But this is the only square that's not tilted? I can draw, try to draw more if you want, I guess. You can try to make another 3x3. Three three. Like that. And then what do you want me to do? <laughs> um, we could do this. Is it going to give me a hard time? No? Okay. So we're at 4. Although that's not tilted, so that's not going to be one of the, the squares per per the hint. So we know there's that. Um, and again, we have, you know, these three by threes that we can do. Is it going to let me do this? It's not. Unless, of course, I do this to get rid of that, and then I were to draw something like this. You guys see that? <laughs> do you guys see that? That's why I'm going insane from this puzzle. Now I'm able to draw it. Right? Now I have a fourth square like that, um, that's diagonal, and I don't know why the pins are acting all weird. Regardless, <laughs> um, I could do something like this as well, and then we technically have another square. Um, I mean, at this point, we're at five squares, right? Where else could I do a diagonal square? I don't see many other opportunities, unless, of course, I want to get fancy with the drawing again and do something like that, so that I can then do this and add a sixth. That is the sixth square? Yeah. So where do they want the last one? Where do they want the last one? They want it to be like this. Oh, they want it using this center one. However, they're going to be weird about me using the pins, so I have to draw it like that. Wait, what? How did that happen? Huh? How did that happen? That's so weird. Okay. So now I've redrawn it. Um, without changing anything. So you see how it gave me like a whole hassle there with the pins, but now I've just been able to reconstruct the same lines such that the same pins I wanted highlight are highlighted, but there isn't a problem. That's, that's what's really bothering me about this puzzle. Anyways, top left we have one, bottom left we have one, we have two big size three by threes, then we have three smaller ones. Um, three two by twos in the middle that are diagonals. We have one of them that's two red sides and two blue sides. We have one of them that's three blue sides and one red side. And then we have one of them that's all four blue sides. Then we have, yeah, the me the big size, the three by threes. There's one that's three red sides and one blue side. And then we have one that's two black sides and two white sides or blue sides. And then of course the, the two by two at the bottom left, which is um, three black sides and a blue side, and then the top left, all black sides. Um, I mean, like I said, we could make another square if we wanted to. <laughs> we could make another one using this right here. If I wanted to redraw the lines, I could try to do so in such a way. All I would have to do is like take these two and connect them like that. And then I could try to do something like that. And we've made another square. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't think I got rid of any of my squares, right? 
and now we have eight. Although, technically this one lost its, uh, oh, this is basically the same thing I'd made before. So yeah, there's this center one that I said was two red sides and two blue sides. Let's just say I want this pin to be highlighted. I can just make a line like that. And now I've created a square, I guess, per the, the game's definition, I think. And now we have eight squares. Actually, do we have more than that? We have... we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see ten squares that have four pins as corners. So, if this isn't it, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Let's see what the last hint is. The largest square contains the pin that's third from the top on the left column. Third from the top on the left column and the bottom pin from the far right column. We also need to form a small diagonal block using the two pins lined up diagonally on the bottom left portion of the board. There are two more small squares just like this one on the board. So let's see. Let's compare. Um, contain the pin that's third from the top on the left column. So this one, and then the bottom on the right column, right? That's what it was. Third from the top on the left column and the bottom pin from the far right column. Wouldn't that be a four by four though? I don't think that works. The far right column. Right? Oh, third from the top on the left column. Third from the top on the left column. So this, this one that's the, the joint of these two black um, sides of the big three by three. That one, and then the bottom of the far right. Okay, I can see that. So, all right, I guess if you wanna take a picture of this or whatever, this is, this is 10 squares such that all the pins or all four corners of whatever squares have pins. Anyways, this is what they want me to do. They want me to put one there, and then they want me to do this. Like that. And then they also said in the second hint, I believe, you also need to form a small diagonal block using the two pins lined up diagonally on the bottom left portion of the board. And there are two more s small squares just like that one. So this. There are two more just like that. Well, I guess um, I guess we'll see, right? We could do something like this. And then we could do something like this. And what else? I mean, I see one more for sure, but I need two more. Oh, I see. I see it. They want this like that, and then they want one more like that. That utilizes all the pins. So this is the solution they want. I can see it. I can see why it's a solution. There are no, I guess, vertices that are being used in more than one square. I think that's what they meant by you can only use each pin once. But the, the mechanism for indicating whether or not something was wrong um, the, using the little X's was so broken in the other system, the other way I was constructing them. 
this is it. Um, this is what they want to see, so I'm sure well, this will be the right answer. Yes. But, but uh, I've sold it. I didn't like that one. <laughs> Needless to say, I feel like it could have been really cool, but it just wasn't clear how the pins worked. And so when I was really just racking my brain to try to do that, wow, it's literally been an hour. It's literally been an hour, and that's all I did. That's all I did. Oh, man, the negativity is so real. Um, yeah, I mean, what's frustrating about that is that I didn't... It wasn't clear how the game worked, um, how the puzzle worked, how I could utilize the pins. And um, it said you can only use each pin once. Yet, there were different ways that you could draw... And it, I also didn't know, like, did you have to have a square that had four pins at all corners? Or were you able to draw a square that didn't even have any pins for corners, but it can be made solely from overlapping of other lines? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's it's a real shame that, that that was not very enjoyable, because I didn't really know what constraints I was working with. Anyways, now we're free to keep climbing. You know, it's pr very odd how this tower is simply huge, and yet there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's room in the basement, the whole place is rather bare. Perhaps that is why Bruno's machines make such a racket. This tower is like a giant megaphone. Why would anyone want to construct such a big, purposeless tower, Professor? Yeah, I know, that's, that's kind of what's crossing my mind now, too. It's exhausting to climb this thing. Ha! Did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express purpose of exhausting us? This is just another one of the many trials that have been set out for Seekers of the Golden Apple. Gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. So, that was that was puzzle number 100. Um, and it took forever. And I did not enjoy it. And, and I think it all comes down to clarity of instructions and clarity of the rules for... I guess, uh, what you can do to try to solve the puzzle, but I'm gonna try not to dwell on it, obviously, um, we're probably talking about a game with 120 puzzles, and, you know, five or six of them being not ideal, it's a shame that one of them is one of the final ten, and it's supposed to be one of the more difficult ones, uh, one of the ones that's more challenging that I'd look forward to trying to solve, but... But otherwise, I mean, this has been a long episode as is, and all it is is that one puzzle, so I apologize for those of you that were really excited for more to happen in this episode. Um, this is the nature of playing a game blind, so so yeah, um, I don't know, should I keep going? I don't want this episode to just be that. I'm not satisfied with that, but the next thing is going to be a puzzle, is it not? So. I guess this one episode is that one puzzle, and it's me attempting to do so, and hopefully those of you that are somewhat intrigued by listening to my thought processes uh, had some entertainment with how I was thinking through the puzzle, and maybe some of you have some compelling, uh, I guess, thoughts regarding the comments I made about the puzzle and its rules and the pins, and um, maybe some of you found the way that I saw it, which uh, may not have been how you saw it. Maybe the game's instructions resonated well with you, um, found my perspective interesting to see at the very least. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take a few minutes and then hopefully come back and get to some more puzzles because I don't like ending on a negative note, with especially with a game that I've enjoyed so much up until this point. So. Anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.